Hi, hello dear students. Welcome to our channel, Maths with Panindra. In this video, we are going to discuss about determinants. From these determinants and linear equations in the matrices topic, we will expect two questions in the JA mains and four to five questions we may expect from this topic matrices in MSET examination whether it is AP or PS. So let us have a discussion. The first question is this. If A, B, C are positive and not all equal then determinant of A, B, C, B, C, A, C, A, B. See generally what we will do expanding here also we will expand so it will becomes we know that how to expand a into bc minus a square minus b into b square minus ca plus c into ab minus c square so abc plus ABC plus ABC 3ABC so minus AQ minus BQ minus CQ if you take out common minus it will becomes A cube minus sorry A cube plus B cube plus C cube minus 3ABC from algebraic relations a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c can be written as minus is already there this can be written as the product of factors a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a whenever here minus is there the determinant value whether it is less than or equal to 0 or greater than or equal to 0 or less than 0, greater than 0 only they are asking here minus symbol is there so minus symbol is there means this determinant value 0 so why I am explaining this one is sometimes based on the concept of a plus b plus c by given the condition they lost some relations that is the reason I am expanding this result so ultimately the answer is less than 0 which is there in the second option. We will move to the next question dear students. Yeah, the next question. Determinant of 24, 25, 26, 25, 26, 27, 26, 27, 27. See here dear students. First row, second row, the numbers which are increasing by 1 but the third row if you observe that 26 27 27 if all the rows increasing with one number directly we can say that the determinant value is 0 but whenever like this situation is there just we have to do some row or column operations according to that so here what I am doing is R2 tends to R2 minus R1 and R3 tends to R3 minus R2 I am doing. So after operating this R1 cannot be changed in anything. So 24, 25, 26 and R2 minus R1, 25 minus 24, 26 minus 26. 25, 27 minus 26, R3 minus R2, 26 minus 25, 27 minus 26, 27 minus 27, 0. Now, normal expansion you do plus minus plus, so 24 into 0 minus 1, minus 25 into 0 minus 1 plus 26 into 0 1 minus 1 so anyway this value goes to be 0 
plus 25 minus 24. So 25 minus 24 is 1. So which is there in the third option. And come to this question dear students. Question number 3. Determinant of 1990, 1991, 1992 and in the second row from 1991 to 1993 which are increasing order with 1 1992, 1993, 1994 so directly we can say that the answer is 0 why well, because all the rows which are increasing by 1 member so how it will be 0? generally like this situation is there you can put directly 0 why well, because it is MCQ but how means just I am giving same operations we will do here. R2 tends to R2 minus R1. R3 tends to R3 minus R2. So, the first row cannot change anything. 1990, 1991, 1992. 1991 minus 90, 1. 1992 minus 1991, 1. 1993 minus 1992. 1992 minus 1, here 1, here 1, here 1. While calculating the determinant of 3 by 3, or any determinant, two rows are identical, the determinant value goes to be 0. So the answer is 0. So two ways, directly also we can find as 0. And this is the way you get the value of determinant as 0. We will move on to the next question. The next question, determinant of log e, log e square, log e power 3, log e square, log e power 3, log e power 4. See here dear students, you remember logarithm property, log a power m can be written as m into log a. So by using this property, we will reduce the values and log e value is equal to 1. That means log e value is 1 means the base is always e only. So, this determinant will become <coughs> log e value is 1, so it will be 1. Log e square means 2 log e, so 2. Log e cube, 3 into log e, 3 into log e value is 1. So, next 2, 3, 4. Next 3, 4, 5. I hope you understand your students. Like previous determinant. 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5 which are in decreasing uh, order all the rows by 1. So, without expanding also we can keep 0. So, the determinant of the given so the value is equal to 0. Now, we will move to the next determinant. So, determinant of A minus B, B minus Q, X minus Y, B minus C, Q minus R, Y minus Z. C minus A, R minus P, Z minus X. So to evaluate this one, these values are 1, X, Y, Z, A plus B plus C, 0. So to evaluate these type of problems, row operations we need to apply. Either <coughs> possibility you can check that. R1 tends to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Or C1 tends to C1 plus C2 plus C3. So here according to this, uh, what I am going to do is, on applying R1 tends to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So this determinant value will becomes the first row A minus B. First row we are adding A minus B plus B minus C and plus C minus A. So if we add all the values a minus b plus b minus a plus a minus c plus c all cancel all you know. So even second also p minus q plus q minus r plus r minus p. Next come to the x minus y plus y minus z plus z minus x. The remaining as it is b minus c, q minus r, y minus z, c minus a, r minus p and z minus x. These values will be cancelled only. So the first row contains all the elements are zeros. 
सो जीरो 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 बी माइनस सी क्यू माइनस और वाई माइनस जेड सी माइनस ए आर माइनस पी जेड माइनस एक्स जस्ट नो वे डिस्कस एनी वन ऑफ द रो और कॉलम कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ जीरो दिस इज वन ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डिटर्मिनेंट्स सो द डिटर्मिनेंट वैल्यू गोज टू बी जीरो सो द आंसर इज फोर्थ ऑप्शन हियर विल मूव ऑन टू द क्वेश्चन The next question is students. Question number six. <clears throat> Determinant of a plus b c one in the first row. B plus c a one. C plus a b one. So, how to determine <clears throat> find the determinant of this? Generally, if you expand, it will take time to do that. So. is there any logic behind it to expand this suppose if you add from the determinant if you observe carefully c1 that is first column this is c1 this is c2 if you add the two columns c1 plus c2 a plus b plus c b plus c plus a that means a plus b plus c only you know so if you add or subtract or all the rows or all the columns if you are getting the same value in one column or in one row so like this we can make it so what i am making is c1 tends to c1 plus c2 i am doing so the first column will becomes a plus b plus c so a plus b plus c so b plus c plus a that also it will become a plus b plus c only no next c plus a plus b that also a plus b plus c so we are not disturbing c2 c3 as it is you can write it c a b 1 1 1 whenever in the column or any column the values are same we can take out common and write as a multiple so a plus b plus c i am taking common from the first column and writing as 1 1 1 1 1 1 we know that in the determinant two columns are identical the determinant value goes to be zero so zero into this value is also zero so the answer is zero this is the way you practice this question dear students you are able to do that same procedure you can follow you get that answer so now come to the question number 7 in the first column 1 1 1 in the second column bc ca ab a into b plus c b into c plus c and c into a plus b see observe dear students your logic so like this way you have to get anything common either in rows or columns here if you observe the third column if you do the actual multiplication ab plus ac so ab plus ac generally abc is there na so sum of the roots of taken two at a time if you do that s2 ab plus bc plus ca So A B plus B C plus A. Even here also A B plus A C is there plus B C is not there. If you add this one, similarly here B C plus A B C A is not there. If you add this one, that means indirectly we need to add C two and C three. So some value will get like common in this determinant. So what I am going to do is here I am we are going to apply. C three tends to C three plus C two or C two tends to C three plus C two. We can do that either C three tends to or C two tends to. Better to write C three. Uh, we already wrote. No need to disturb anything. So one 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 C one we are not disturbing. Even C two also we are not disturbing. B C C A and A B. Now C three plus C two. B C 
प्लस ए बी प्लस ए सी सो ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस ए इवन हियर आल्सो सी ए प्लस बी सी प्लस ए बी दैट मींस ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी ए अगेन ए बी प्लस सी ए प्लस बी सी सो ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी ए वी आर टेकिंग कॉमन ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी ए फ्रॉम द थर्ड कॉलम सो इट इज द मल्टीपल ऑफ द डिटरमिनेंट ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी ए इंटू वन 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 बी सी सी ए ए बी वन 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 वी नो दैट वाइल कैलकुलेटिंग द डिटर्मिनेंट टू कॉलम्स आर आइडेंटिकल द डिटर्मिनेंट वैल्यू गोज टू बी जीरो सो दिस वैल्यू इंटू जीरो सो टोटल वैल्यू गोज टू बी जीरो विच इज देर इन द फोर्थ ऑप्शन वी विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन डोंट थिंक स्टूडेंट इजी क्वेश्चन आई एम giving that in determinants matrices minimum 4 to 5 videos from all the levels level 1 to level 4 i am going to give that i am sure that from these models we may expect in the je mains or mcet so minimum 4 to 5 videos from different different books i am referring uh, to give that information uh, please follow we we'll move on to the next question and the next question question number 8 determinant of 1 by a 1 by b 1 by c in the first column second column a square b square c square b c c a a b which is equal to so how to do this type of problem we are now giving the options is 1 by a b c a plus b plus c 0 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c see is there any possibility to make any two rows are equal any two columns are equal so we will make it here first column as it is 1 by a 1 by b 1 by c second column also a square b square c square in the third column bc is there so to get abc a is not there in the numerator multiplying and dividing by a in the third column first term here second one here b is not there multiplying and dividing by b in the third one multiplying and dividing by c so it will becomes abc by a abc by b A B C by C. So third column. In the third column, A B C in the numerator we are going to take common. So from the column three. So if we take out common A B C A B C A B C from third column, it is a multiple. So the rest of the terms one by A, one by B, one by C. So A square, B square, C square, one by A. 1 by b 1 by c we know that two columns are identical two columns are identical the determinant value goes to be 0 so a b c into 0 which is equal to 0 so the answer is third option now come to question number 9 in this question here also little logic is there dear students determinant of 1 bc bc into b plus c 1 ca ca into c plus a 1 ab in ab into a plus b see i want to take common bc from the rows or columns suppose if we take out common bc from the first row here bc is not there from the second row ca is not there here so here ab ab is not there so what we have to do that so this is column 1 <coughs> column 2 column 3 what i am making is in place of c3 this is the column 3 so generally if you multiply bc to a b plus c 
here A, here B, here C I want them. So what we should do to get it? B C into A plus B A plus B plus C I want. C A into A plus B plus C I want. A B into A plus B plus C I want. So to get here C, here B, here A, what I am going to do is, observe carefully, C3 tends to C3 plus for column 1, column 1 all are 1 only now, multiplying with A B C into column 1. So C3 only changing, C3, so remaining 1, 1, 1, B C, C A, A B, C3 plus this value, C3 means this one, you know. So B C into B plus C plus A B C into C1, C1 value is what? 1, 1 into A B C, A B C. Similarly, C A into A plus C plus C1 means 1, 1 into A B C. So here A B into A plus B plus A B C. So from here B C take common, from here C A take common, from here A B take common, it will becomes 1, 1, 1, B C, C A, A B. Here if you take out common B C, the rest of the terms is A plus B plus C. If you take out common C A here, A plus B plus C. If we take out common from here, AB into AP, A plus B plus C. Now from the third column, A plus B plus C, I am taking common. So from the third column, C3, A plus B plus C, I am taking common. It is a multiple. Whenever we are taking any value, taking common from either rows or columns, it should be a multiple of the determinant. So the rest of the determinant value will become 1, 1, 1, BC, CA, AB. B C C A A B. Two columns are identical. Whenever two columns are identical, the determinant value goes to be zero. So A plus B plus C into zero, which is equal to zero. So fourth option is the right option. This is the turning step, dear students. Sir, how will you uh, know about multiplying only with A B C? Why can't with other? By practicing it, you will come, dear students. This is the way. We'll move on to the next one. Yeah. Then next question. Determinant of 1 log y to the base x log z to the base x log x to the base y 1 log z to the base y log x to the base z log y to the base z and 1. So how to proceed? So we know that log a to the base b can be written as log a by log b. We know that. And 1 can be written as log x to the base x. Suppose if we change the variable in terms of y, log y to the base y, log z to the base z. Why I am giving these hints? We are going to utilize these information in the given determinant. So in place of y, in the first row if you observe that basis will be x. In the second row basis will be y. In the third row basis will be z. So the first row, in the first row, first column element 1 can be written as log x to the base x. Why? Because in the first row base is x only, you know. So we can write it as log x to the base x, log y to the base x, log z to the base x. Next, log x to the base y, log 1 can be written as here in the second row, base is y, no? so we can write as log y to the base y. And log z to the base y. In the third row, base is z, so one can be written as log z to the base z. So log x to the base z, log y to the base z, log z to the base z. Now what I am doing is, 
I am applying this property. Log x to the base x can be written as log x by log x. Here, log y by log x. Log z by log x. Now, here, log y log x by y means log x by log y. Log y by log y. Log z by log y. Similarly, third row, log x divided by log z. Log y divided by log z. Log z divided by log z. So from the first row, 1 by log x, I am taking common. So from the first row, we are taking common 1 by log x into. From the second row, also I am taking common 1 by log y. Whatever we are taking common from R1, R2, R3, that values are multiples of the determinant. So 1 by log y also. From R3, we are taking 1 by log z. So after taking common, these values will become log x, log y, log z, here log x, log y, log z, log x, log y, log z. In the determinants, all the rows are identical. So whenever rows are identical, any two rows are identical, or here three rows are identical. Whenever rows are identical, what is the determinant of this one? This value goes to be 0. So 1 by log x into log y into log z. That value goes to be 0. So ultimately the answer is 0, which is there in the second option. I hope you people understand. We will move on to the next one. The next question, question number 11. Determinant of minus a square a b a c a b minus b square b c a c b c minus c square. So how to do this determinant? See here what I am doing is clearly from the first row from the First row, A will take common. Not only first row, first column also. From the first column, A take common. From the second column, B take common. From the third column, C take common. So after taking common, it will become minus A, B, C. Next here, B will have taken common. So A minus B, C. In the third column C, we have taken common already. So A, next C taking common means B and here minus C. Again from the first row take common A, take common B from the second row, from third row C. So it will become A, B, C into A. So that means A square. From the second row B, we are taking common. From the third row C, we are taking common A square, B square, C square. So the rest of the terms, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1. So normally if you expand A square, B square, C square, here normal expansion I am doing, minus 1 into 1 minus 1, minus 1 into minus 1, minus 1. So plus 1 into 1 minus of minus 1. So, it will become 0, minus 2 into minus plus 2, 2 plus 2, 4. So, 4 a square, b square, c square, which is there in the fourth option. Dear student, whenever like these questions are there, without loss of generality, you can take the shortcut trick. a is equal to b is equal to c is equal to 1, you take and do it. LHS value and RHS value, if you are getting same, so A is equal to B is equal to 1 if you take in this and here, if you take A is equal to B is equal to C, 4 into 1 square into 1 square into 1 square, so 4. If you substitute A value, B value, C value in this, it will become minus 1, 1, 1, 
like this it will be there. This value is also 4. Suppose if whenever you are getting both answers are same, there is the right answer. In the options, we can verify by taking the values. And in the determinant also, both will be coincident. This is the right answer. Even for this also, this shortcut will work out. Not only for this, but also for this. But general method also, I will give here, dear students. Uh, in this, in the first column, we are taking common A square. In the second column, B square. In the third column, C square. After taking column uh, A square, B square, C square from this respective columns, here, 0, B, C. Here, A, 0, and C. Here, A, B, 0. Normal the expansion of determinant you should do here a square b square c square here 0 into 0 minus bc 0 and 10 is 0 minus a into 0 minus bc plus a into bc minus 0 so a square b square c square minus it minus is plus a b c here also plus a b c so 2 a b c so a square b square c square into 2 a b c so which is equal to 2 into a cube b cube c cube so 2 a cube b cube c cube is there in the second option even here also you take this shortcut a is equal to b is equal to c is equal to 1 you will get the answer, dear students. We'll move on to the next one. The next question: If determinant of x y z minus x y z x minus y z equal to k times of x y z, then k equal to. So these are the options. Observe that carefully here. In the first column x is common, in the second column y, in the third column z. Take out common respectively x from the first column, y from the second column, z from the third column. So the rest of the terms is 1 minus 1, 1, 1, 1 minus 1, 1, 1, 1. Equal to k times of x, y, z. x, y, z, x, y, z get cancelled. So if you find out the determinant k value in the so 1 into 1 minus of minus 1, minus 1 into minus 1 minus 1, plus 1 into 1 minus 1 equal to k. So this value goes to be 0. So 2 minus 2 into plus 2, plus 0 equal to k. That implies k is equal to 4. So I hope you people understand this We will move on to the next question which is given in the 8 2007. So, determinant capital B equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 plus x, 1, 1, 1, 1 plus y. For x is not equal to 0 and y is not equal to 0, then B is, options are available, divisible by neither x nor y, divisible by both x and y, divisible by x but not y, divisible by y but not x. So first we need to simplify the given determinant. So here determinant of if we expand in terms of x, y, x plus y like this will come. So we need to get very simple manner. So how we are going to do that? So here whenever ones are available make ones zeros by either row operations or column operations. Here According to this observation, by observing this determinant, here what I am going to do is C2 tends to C2 minus C1 and C3 tends to C3 minus C1 I am doing. So after op applying these operations, this determinant will become So C1 cannot be changed anything, 1, 1, 1. C2 minus C1, 1 minus 1, 0. 1 plus X minus 1, X. 1 minus 1, 0. 
Similarly, C3 minus C1, 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 plus y minus 1, so y. Yeah, I hope everyone understands this. This operation. This is, this determinant, it is lower triangle matrix. Whenever the given determinant, either lower triangle matrix or upper triangle matrix, the determinant is one of the important property, dear students. Without expanding, the determinant of lower triangle matrix or upper triangle matrix is the product of diagonal elements. So the answer for this question is xy, 1 into x into y. So xy. xy is divisible by both x and y. xy is divisible by x and y. I hope everyone understand. Yes, students. We will meet in the next video with a different set of questions. I will increase the level of questioning the different different uh, questions we will discuss in the next video thank you for watching and for your support signing off mass with parindra jai Hind.